Hey everyone, I've made a refactor on the Puppeteer plugin to make it a little bit easier to use. This is a quick video to take you through how to get it running in your own project. So um, first of all, the first thing you need to do is go on to the GitHub uh, project. So github.com, victorianz, Puppeteer, uh, I can link in the comments. Uh, so we've got here the uh, repo, which has the, um, the plugin here. So just click code, download zip. I'm going to download to that computer. I already downloaded it before, so I don't need to do it again. And then if we go into um, the folder where you've downloaded it, I already have set up an Unreal Engine 5 uh, project. So dem uh, my project, it's just completely, basically blank. I have put a MetaHuman in there already just to um, save myself a little bit of time for recording this. But effectively, um, it's just a blank project. So what we're going to do here is we're going to extract this plugin into that project. So projects, uh, puppeteer demo, demo project. Uh, and here we're going to put it inside a plugins folder. Plugins. And like so. So there's now a plugins folder, puppeteer refactor. That's just the branch name. We'll get rid of that. So when you get it, it'll be uh, under the name puppeteer. And in here you see, should see the U plugin and the content resources. Once that's in there, you want to run the project. Okay, so uh, the way you'll see this in your project, so this is a, essentially just a blank project, as I said, uh, you may not have plugin content. Thanks to all the people that helped out in the uh, previous video. Um, show plugin content is how you can find the plugin so if it's not enabled settings show plugin content and then i'll show you plugin content here right so what we've got is the puppeteer content the blueprints are in here so there's a few different things that are in here we've got the puppeteer animation blueprint which will need to be used with the face skeletal mesh um, we've got a calibration save here which is the uh the save for your calibration which you can save and load from uh, at the moment we only have one save so it means that when you save a calibration there's only one version of it um, in the future i will probably put in um, the ability to save the calibration under different names but for now it's just one calibration then we've got the puppeteer manager here as well which is what we need to drop into the level so i'll show you how to do that now so uh, let's open up a blank level well actually it's not a blank level this is a demo level. This will be your level with the uh, MetaHuman in it. I've already put um, Ada into here. I've just chucked her into level, one single point light, just to show how this works. So in this level, uh, in the outliner, like I said, I've got Ada and I've got the point light. What we're going to do now is we're going to take, go into plugins, uh, puppeteer content blueprints, and we're going to drop the puppeteer manager into the level. So the Puppeteer Manager is the blueprint that handles the stream of data from LiveLink and then passes it on, does all the normalization and all that sort of stuff. There's a bunch of functionality in there, which I won't go through in this video, um, but you can have a look at it if you want to. Uh, this is the thing that manages uh, Puppeteer and the user interface now. So once we've got that in there, uh, we need to um, configure a couple of things. First of all, let's get our um, Puppeteer Manager referencing the MetaHuman. So to do that, select Puppeteer Manager in the Details panel for the Puppeteer Manager. Click on the uh, eyedropper and then click on um, Ada and that will select Ada under the MetaHuman reference. We're also going to enable Puppeteer and we're going to enable the UI as well. Right now the UI is uh, only toggled in here. Um, so you'll use the UI to set, set up your calibration, save it um, and then uh, you can toggle the UI off uh, with the checkbox. Right, so the uh, now that we've got this, we need to set up the live link subject. So the live link subject is basically the source of your um, your AR kit uh, face AR data. So this is your iPhone. So I'm just uh, in my other hand. I am currently opening up my iPhone, opening up the face. AR app, uh, the sort of live link face app. Now that I've got it running, 
Um, you'll need to go through the steps of setting up the IP address within the Live Link Face app, which I won't go through here. There's good tutorials online for that sort of thing to connect your um, Live Link Face app to um, to your uh, Unreal Engine project. So which Unreal Engine editor, I should say. Um, it's just a simple thing of setting up the IP address inside the app to your um, your computer's IP address on the local network. So once we've done that, window, virtual production, live link. And if it's all working well, you'll see that you've got uh, Apple AR face tracking and then the na name of your iPhone here. Once we've got that going, we can go into live link subject, uh, once again in the puppeteer manager, and we can select Victor's iPhone, my iPhone here. So your iPhone will obviously be whatever your iPhone name, iPhone's name is, and then select that. Okay, so the puppeteer manager, you just have to set those things up, and then you're good to go. Now on the um, MetaHuman Blueprint itself, we need to set up the um, animation blueprint. Uh, and here, this is already set. This actually, I'll just change it back. So when you have your uh, MetaHuman in here, it will show face underscore anim bp underscore c. So what you need to do is change that to the puppeteer one. The puppeteer one has all the um, modify curves, like the animation stuff in it. So the values uh, from your face AR will go to the puppeteer manager, and the puppeteer manager will feed it into the animation blueprint, and the animation blueprint will, will drive those metahuman controls. So once we've done that, we should be good to go. So if you um, play an editor, You'll see here, oh, shift F1 to get the mouse control back. You'll see here that the uh, the face is now being controlled by uh, me on the Face AR um, app. Right, so uh, all this here, if you've used it before, you'll be familiar with the controls. But for those that haven't seen this before, I'll just quickly run through this. So right now it's taking values from my um, iPhone. And uh, this is a calibration interface. So um, what I find with the um, AR kit blend shapes that come through, they don't map one to one to your face. So you need to calibrate it for your own particular face. So as an example, um, let's see here. If I squint my right eye, you'll see here the maximum value I can get uh, is about 0.8 something. So uh, I'm max squinting with my eyes at the moment. So I want to say, okay, at when AR Kip gives a value of 0.8, I want that to be actually be um, driving the squint on the metahuman rig as far as it can go, because it's max. I'm maxing out on my eyes, my own eyes. So I wanted to max out on the rig as well. All right. So you can see here we've got a max value of 0.85. So that means we're just mapping um, the range. The AR Kip values uh, they get mapped in a range from 0 to 0.85 that gets mapped to the metahuman control, the equivalent controls of zero to one. Now it's not necessarily one to one controls. The way Puppeteer works is some of these values that come from AR kit are driving multiple controls on the metahuman rig. And the idea is this will get more sophisticated over time. So if I quickly go through, um, the best way to do this is, is you essentially do each of these, um, these blend shapes, like you pose yourself, you, you act it out, and then you click max when you get to the max pose for the, um, that uh, blend shape so let's let's just do this quickly so blink left look down left um look in left out left It's a good idea to be looking at the camera when you're doing this, but I'm not doing that. I'm looking at the interface. So we should really do the expression. I'm rushing through here. We should really do the expression to the camera because then your eyes are dead straight and then uh, and then press the max button. So I want, I'm not going to do all of these. I'm just going to do some of the more uh, interesting ones. So like uh, brow inner up. Oh, this is kind of pretty close anyway. Outer, brow down right. Cheek puff. Picks up cheek puff pretty well. Cheek squint, kind of a smiling. You can see here. That gives you an idea anyway. So the, the idea is, you know, 
by the time you do all these calibrations, you're getting a lot more movement. It looks like my eyes I need to fine tune a little bit more, but it means that you know you can see in the brows and the eyes that we've got more movement than we would have straight out of the AR kit. So it's a it's a calibration tool, but the idea is also that the values are driving more controls in the MetaHuman rig. We've got a better um, mapping uh, out of this tool. So this is the first step. I am just doing refactors to make it easier to use, and then um, once it's a little bit easier to use, I'm going to continue to try and get the mappings better. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Um, feel free, if you have any questions, just uh, fire them through in the comments. Cheers.